The Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, also visited Bielsa State, where he warned perpetrators of election violence and diseased or faced the full wrath of the law. He held an interactive session with the security agencies in the state over the forthcoming off-cycle election and also met with the officers and men of the Joint Task Force Operation Delta Safety to boost their morale to ensure peace and security throughout the Niger Delta area. This is the first walking visit of General Christopher Mustafa to Bayelsa State since his appointment as the 18th Chief of Defense Staff by President Bola Tinubu. Armed with a clear message from the Presidency on peaceful elections, he holds an interactive session with the security agencies in Yanagua as part of the security preparations ahead of the off-cycle election in the state. The goal is to ensure a violence-free and credible exercise during the electioneering period. In our pursuit of a secure and prosperous Bielsa state, it is essential to focus on the issues of corruption and impunity. These vices undermine the integrity of our institutions and create fertile ground for criminal activities. The armed forces will sustain collaboration with anti-corruption agencies and other relevant bodies to promote transparency, accountability and good governance. Working together, we can assure that those who engage in corrupt practices face the full wrath of the law. In line with the mandate handed down by the highest authority in the land for government security agencies to ensure a peaceful environment for elections to hold, the Chief of Defense Staff has thought it necessary to interact with stakeholders, the military, paramilitary, and all other relevant agencies of government that have one role or the other to play in the peaceful conduct of elections. The Chief of Defense Staff is also welcomed at the headquarters of the Joint Tax Force Operation Delta Safe, where he addresses the general troops on professional conduct to avert crisis during the election. He then holds a brief meeting with some senior officers at the base. Uh, we know the off-cycle elections will be coming, which is very critical, and that's one of the things we want to also address to ensure that it is peaceful. And so we want to assure them that the armed forces and other security agencies will do just that. will provide that enabling environment for everyone to come out and vote. The defense chief assures of a conducive environment for all parties during the 11th of November election. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Yanagua.